Hi, and welcome to this 4NAV coffee break. My name is René Brummel. I'm a product specialist at 4NAV, and I will be your presenter today. As this coffee break is live, you can ask your questions via the GoToWebinar question window. We will answer them at the end of the coffee break. Today, we are going to format the addresses on your Business Central reports. To demonstrate formatting addresses on your Business Central reports, we will make changes to the country region address settings and manually format the address on the sales invoice from the 4NAV customizable report pack. However, you can format addresses for any 4NAV report and any extension using the instructions from this coffee break. To demonstrate formatting addresses on your Business Central reports, we're going to use these steps. Prerequisites, what do I need to get going? In step two, I will use the 4NAV field groups. In step three, I will change my address format. In step four, I will format my addresses using join strings. Let's start with the first step. Today, I will be formatting addresses in the Business Central on-premise Docker installation with the Business Central 2020 Wave 2 release. I've installed the 4NAV customizable report pack and I've executed a step-by-step -step wizard from the assisted setup to get started. To use the features I will demonstrate today, you need at least 4NAV version 6.0. Of course, everything I do today is also available on the Business Central Cloud environment. I also have the 4NAV designer installed on my PC. The 4NAV designer can be downloaded from the 4NAV website. In Business Central, addresses are stored using multiple fields, name, address, postcode, and others. 4NAV can recognize these field patterns and offer us field groups in our data set to make the formatting easier. So let's have a look at one of these 4NAV standard reports. Let's open the sales template because that's a report we use very often for demonstrations. It's a report that's used very widely. You will notice that on the sales template we have our header.fieldgroups.build to address, which is a field uh, or a part of the data set which you can find under the header. We have multiple field groups uh, for every address group. We have the, uh, uh, the build to address, the sell to address, and the ship to address. And you can use these on the report. You can simply drag them onto the report. And uh, when we preview the report, When we preview the report, you notice that the, uh, uh, the addresses are built uh, automatically by 4NAV based on the country where, uh, uh, where, the, where the address is based. So this is a Great Britain address, and you will notice this has the, the Great Britain address format. Now, sometimes we need to change the address formats for uh, for our reports. Some people don't want uh, don't want the name on the address formats, and some people want it uh, to be uh, displayed slightly differently. And from 4NAV 6.0, we can change our address format to uh, by using the address formatting in the country region tables. We can use the standard options, or we can create a custom address format for uh, for the re for the addresses uh, that we need. So let's have a look at these. Let's go and find the, uh, the country region table. And in the country regions, this is a, a standard business central installation. So it comes with, uh, with all of this set up. I can find Great Britain. And you will notice Great Britain has the default address format of city, country, and postcode. And this, if we edit the list, you can change to any uh, any of the other uh, built-in ones, so you can have a blank line plus postcode plus city or city plus postcode. And let's change it to postcode plus city. And preview the report again. like something went wrong in my preview. Let's try this again. Uh, 
that's better. So if I zoom in a little bit, you will notice my address is now formatted by using the postcode first and the city second. So that's a very easy way of changing these, these address formats. But of course, sometimes the address needs to be formatted even, uh, uh, even differently, even uh, according to not one of the standard built-in uh, address formats. And in that case, we can use the custom format. And if I choose custom format, I can open the custom address formatting table. And in here, I can change the, com the complete address formatting. So I can say I want the postcode, postcode city to be up. Uh, I don't want name, so I will delete the name. And I don't want name too either. Uh, let's move co contact person all the way down. move these down as well so let's start with postcode city oh and by the way I don't like the, the postcode city format so I will change that because this is a UK address I need a county and let's go with the postcode and move county up and city last so that's how you can build up your address format for a certain country region uh, manually and if we close this and close this and preview the report again, let's see what we make of this uh, custom format that we've created. You will notice now my address is formatted. Uh, I don't have the, the company name anymore. I now have my uh, postcode and city. County is not filled in for this particular customer. Uh, then I have the address. Address 2 obviously is empty and we close with uh, Mr. Mark MacArthur which is the, uh, the contact name on, uh, on this particular invoice. Finally, you may need to include things like customer or VAT number in your address. In this case you need to create your address format manually and to do this we use the curreport joint strings function. The nice thing about the join strings function is that it automatically filters out empty values. So let's go back to Fornav and uh, let's go and play with this second address. Let's remove the uh, cell to address field groups and to create a cur report uh, dot join strings, we can call the cur report dot join strings. And the first thing we need to specify in the join strings as uh, my new JavaScript editor right here tells me is I need a separator string and in this case I want all of my uh, all of my strings on a new line so we need to add a JavaScript new line character uh, which is backslash n and then I can add all of the values that I want to add to my join strings so let's add a comma and let's say I want my Header dot build to address. Then I want my header dot build to address too. Then I'll do something that isn't in one of the uh, any of the normal address formattings. I want the header dot build to customer number. And then I want the uh, header dot postcode build to postcode and of course I want the postcode and the city on the same line so I can add a uh, space and just string the header dot build to city on uh, on this line as well so I won't build it up anymore uh, I'm sure you'll get the point so what I do right here is I call the cur report join strings functions. I, I say with my first uh, with my first variable that I want all of my strings on a new to be placed on a new line, and then I say use header build to address, build to address two, build to customer number, and build to postcode, and build to city on the same line, separated with uh, with a space. Hit OK and preview, and let's see what for now builds of this.
So now I have two address fields. And you will notice this address field uses the, uh, the address line 1, uh, which is 153 Thomas line. Then we said use address line 2, but that's empty, so 4NF skips it. The code report that join string uh, function skips the, the empty lines. Then we get the customer number, 20,000, and then we get postcode and city. So that's uh, if you need to go really custom, uh, if you need to use fields that aren't in any of the business central uh, fields, any of the business central address formats, then uh, this is uh, the only way to go. So let's recap what we just did. The first thing we did was to use the 4 and field groups to format our addresses automatically. The next step was to change the country region address format. We used another built-in format and our own custom address format. Finally, we saw we can also use the curry port join strings function. This function is ideal for creating a text block like an address because it automatically filters out empty values. Thank you for listening to me so far. I uh, can't see any questions at the moment. If you do have any questions, uh, you can type them in the uh, questions text box really fast and I'll answer them before the end of the webinar. Uh, if not, we'll wrap up the webinar. So if you want to know more, you can go to 4 where you can also download the 4 designer. If you want to use 4 in uh, a Business Central uh, on online system, a Business Central uh, cloud system, you can download or install 4 from Microsoft App Source. On our 4 YouTube channel, we have many videos about uh, how to use 4 and uh, some of them uh, really quite, uh, uh, quite detailed. And if you have any questions after watching this video, uh, you can send them to support at 4nav.com. We will continue the 4nav coffee breaks, and for a full list of upcoming and recorded coffee breaks, you can visit 4nav.com slash coffee break. With that, we don't have any questions, so thank you very much for listening to me today, and I will speak to you in the next coffee break. Goodbye.